Have you ever wondered who Mr. New Vegas was? And where was he even located? The answers to these questions might surprise you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to me, Mr. New Vegas, and you look extraordinarily beautiful right now. While adventuring around the Mojave, wherever you are, you can always tune in to Radio New Vegas, with a charismatic and witty DJ giving news and updates about all the things happening throughout the wasteland. And although loved by many, according to him, only few NPCs actually mention the disc jockey. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Well, as it turns out, according to a blog post by Bethesda, Mr. New Vegas is an AI created before the Great War, 200 years ago, by none other than Mr. House. The quote from the blog post reads, Mr. New Vegas is interesting because he's just a voice on the radio. He has no body. He was created by Mr. House, so he's literally just a voice. He tells what's going on in the world, he's always upbeat, and he has some very bizarre lines. Another article by USA Today mentions Wayne Newton, Mr. Las Vegas, as the voice of a DJ programmed centuries earlier. This would also explain why, in the collector's edition card deck, he is depicted as just a microphone. Still, there are some questions that need answering. Like how is it that after the death of House, Mr. New Vegas keeps functioning and broadcasting, even mentioning that the father of New Vegas has passed away? Rumors continue to swell that Mr. House, the father of New Vegas, has passed away. Who will fill the power vacuum on the strip remains uncertain. Well, it's not that uncommon for House to design robots with semi-autonomous functionality. Like for instance, during the Ghost Town gunfight quest, you can ask Victor to help fight off the Powder Gangers, to which he agrees to, but never shows up. Hacking him afterwards reveals that House intervened and disabled Victor to not be able to help. So most likely, Mr. New Vegas was designed to function with or without his creator present, just like President Eden in Fallout 3. And logically, we can also conclude, although this isn't officially confirmed anywhere, that the New Vegas radio station is broadcasting from the Lucky 38, which would explain its long reach, since we know House was able to reach Victor all the way in Good Springs. So as long as the Lucky 38 has power and keeps functioning, the broadcasts will continue. The only thing that's strange about Mr. New Vegas being an AI is the fact that he seems to have reporters around the Mojave interviewing different NPCs. The King's Gang in Freeside has put an official end to the hostilities with the NCR. An RNV reporter was on hand to speak with the King. I feel so bad. I think it's time we reconsider, baby. So the question arises, how is he employing these reporters and getting the information from them? Some speculate that Securitrons might be doing it, but it's possible that contracted human reporters could be communicating through ham radios or computers connected to House's network with Mr. New Vegas and receiving their payments in hidden locations throughout the wasteland dropped off by Securitrons. It would also be interesting to know why House created him in the first place, perhaps to broadcast his propaganda, or maybe he anticipated that the people of New Vegas would need a new source of news and information. But what do you guys think? Are you surprised about him being an AI created by House? Leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching.